so today I brought in a super special craft project. Yay! Yay! Are you guys ready? Yeah. So it's 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 kind of hard to see. Can you guys see it? It's a panda. It's a panda. It's a panda on a string. It's a panda. It's a panda. <laughs> So I'm going to call this a sun catcher because it looks like something I might hang from the mirror in my car, right? When you drive so that the sun shines off of it. Or it could be something you put on a zipper on your jacket or on your backpack. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for, but this is what we're going to make. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to tell you out loud how we're going to make it. And then I want you to repeat it back to me. Okay? So listening ears on. Are you ready? Bead, not, bead, not, spacer, not. Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. Bead, not, bead, not, spacer, not. Special bead. Not everyone will have a panda, so we'll call it a special bead and then a finishing knot to make sure that it all stays on. So do you think you guys remember that? Yes. Okay, ready? Go through it with me, here we go. Bead, knot, bead, knot, spacer, knot, bead, knot, bead, knot, spacer, knot, spacer, knot. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Listen to me, because we're going to call this a special bead, and we're going to call this a finishing knot, okay? It's just a little bit different than the other ones. Bead, knot, bead, knot, spacer, knot. Bead, knot, bead, knot, spacer, knot. Special bead, finishing knot. Good job, you guys. Okay, so now, just in case, we risk forgetting what we just did, we're gonna write the instructions down so everyone can look at it when it's time to make your own, okay? Here we go. So what was the first thing? Bead. Go ahead, yeah, you can go ahead and shout it out, all right? What was the first thing? Bead. Bead. And then? Not. And then, Bead. and after that, Not. next, uh-oh, what are we noticing? There's, there's definitely a pattern. What else are we noticing? We could just repeat, right? But we don't have a repeat command here, so we can't use one. So we're going to write all the instructions down, but what are, what's happening here? We're running out of room. We're running out of room. We have to figure out what we're going to do. If we went ahead and finished our pattern and put not here, then we could just say to repeat this whole thing, and we'd get a lot closer, right? But would we have room for everything? No. Yeah. We can make another block, number seven and number eight, until we go to the panda or the special. Okay, so she's saying, well, but we could make more boxes, and we don't have room to make more boxes here, but what do you guys notice? Another thing. More boxes. <laughs> more boxes. That's right. So we do have room over here and over here where we can write some things. So here's what I want to do. I'm going to give you all a copy of this worksheet. And you guys are going to work in groups. And this is the program. This is like what's, what we're doing here. And here are our two extra boxes. Now, if we wanted to call, let's see. I'm going to erase these out real quick. If we had something in here and we said banana, let's say banana swordfish. If we had banana swordfish over here, 
How would I get this to call banana swordfish, do you suppose? Uh, you can write it, swordfish. I could write banana swordfish. Would that have saved me any room in my program? Yeah. No? I could write F1. So if I write F1, you guys are going to know that I go over here and I read through F1 before I go any further. <laughs> you get it? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. I'm handing out the worksheets. I'll have one here. You three are going to work together, all right? Now I want you to figure out how you use your two extra boxes. You've got to call your box in your program. Remember to be careful not to overteach. The fun in this lesson comes from letting the kids explore different options and having different answers to the same problem. So let them figure it out and only go to them if they have a question. The important part of this lesson is actually the wrap up because as you saw, we kind of snuck the idea of a function on them and it's important that they don't really know that they're learning until afterwards so that they can have as much fun as possible. Sometimes kids will come up with ideas like loops and functions on their own and they should definitely be commended, but you don't need to go into it right then. Wait till they come back and they've got their sun catcher going and then you can say, hey, guess what we just learned. Okay, so you guys understand now that you're going to take all of these instructions and you can fit this whole thing of instructions right into one line on your program just by calling the name of all of this. And that is called a function. In computer science, we write functions all the time. So we can take lots of instructions and call it at different points in a program really, really easily. Another thing I bet you didn't notice is that these change, right? You have black beads and you have red beads and we don't know what kind of spacer you're going to have or what your special bead is going to be, but we need something to put there anyway so that you know what instructions to follow before you even get your cup of beads. And that's why we have these placeholder words and we call those variables. So you guys just learned by making these little sun catchers how to use functions and variables. Pretty cool, huh?